Uh, did you know that some male spiders knit silk wrap gifts for their potential mates? Sounds romantic until you discover many of these packages are completely empty or worse, contain the remains of an already eaten insect, the ultimate fake out in the animal kingdom. This bizarre deception is just one of nature's weirdest mating rituals we'll explore today. From explosive genitals to underwater art installations, animals have developed courtship displays so strange they seem like science fiction. But trust me, these bizarre behaviors are 100% real and they've been working for millions of years. Did you know that in the animal kingdom, gift giving can be a matter of life and death? While humans exchange presents as tokens of affection, animals offer gifts with much higher stakes. The chance to pass on their genes to the next generation. This fascinating behavior takes many forms across species, from genuine offerings to surprisingly deceptive tactics. Take the male nursery web spider, who approaches potential mates with what appears to be a thoughtful present. He meticulously wraps an insect in silk, creating what looks like a nutritious offering for his potential partner. But here's where things get interesting. Scientists have discovered that these eight-legged suitors aren't always honest in their intentions. Up to 30% of these silken packages contain empty husks or completely worthless items instead of the nutritious meal they appear to be. This deception isn't just dishonesty for its own sake, it's a clever survival strategy. When a female spider receives a gift, she becomes momentarily distracted as she inspects the package. This crucial distraction gives the male precious seconds to mate without facing a grim fate that awaits many male spiders being eaten by their partners. It's a high-stakes game of deception, where the male trades a fake gift for the chance to reproduce while keeping all eight legs intact. The natural world's gift-giving doesn't stop with spiders. Some presents in nature are particularly macabre, like those offered by the great grey shrike. This predatory bird creates what could be described as mouse pops or toad sickles by impaling small mammals and insects on thorns or barbed wire. These grisly displays serve as both a food cache and a way to advertise the male's hunting prowess to potential mates, essentially saying, look how well I can provide. Even more extreme is the male autumn spider, also known as the long-jawed orb weaver. In what might be nature's most ruthless gift strategy, these males sometimes kill and wrap up rival males as edible presents for females. It's a two birds with one stone approach. Eliminate the competition while simultaneously impressing a potential mate with a hearty meal. Among the most artistic gift givers are bower birds, nature's master decorators. These feathered architects construct elaborate structures called bowers, essentially bachelor pads designed to woo females. But there's more to these constructions than meets the human eye. Bowerbirds don't just randomly arrange colorful objects, they carefully position items in size gradients, with larger objects placed farther away from the bower's entrance. This meticulous arrangement creates a clever optical illusion. When a female bowerbird views the male from outside the bower, this carefully engineered perspective makes him appear larger and more imposing than he actually is. It's nature's version of a dating profile photo taken from a flattering angle. The males with the most effective visual illusions tend to be the most popular with females, demonstrating how perception manipulation plays a crucial role in their reproductive success. While some animals use deception or artistic displays to attract mates, others take much more dramatic risks. The male praying mantis faces perhaps the ultimate sacrifice in the pursuit of reproduction. During mating, female mantises often begin eating their partners, starting with the head. Yet even after being decapitated, the male's body continues the mating process. In fact, the headless body thrusts more vigorously than before. This gruesome phenomenon occurs because losing his head actually removes the male's inhibitions. Without the brain's control centers, the body's mating instincts take over completely, leading to more aggressive reproductive movements. It's a chilling example of how reproduction can literally cost an animal its life, yet from an evolutionary perspective, the sacrifice ensures his genes continue into the next generation. These bizarre gift-giving and mating rituals highlight an important truth about nature when it comes to reproduction. Conventional rules don't apply. 
Animals have evolved remarkable and sometimes unsettling strategies to ensure their genetic legacy continues. From deceptive empty packages and optical illusions to the ultimate sacrifice of one's body, these behaviors showcase the incredible diversity of approaches to the universal goal of reproduction. Breaking gender rules when animals change roles and bodies. When it comes to reproduction, animals don't just have unusual strategies, some completely shatter our understanding of biological sex. In certain species, being male or female isn't permanent but situational. What would you do if survival of your entire community depended on you changing your sex completely? Most of us grow up with a simple understanding of biological sex. You're born either male or female, and that's that. But throughout the animal kingdom, particularly in marine environments, this binary way of thinking falls apart completely. Some creatures don't just behave differently than their assigned gender, they physically transform their entire bodies when circumstances demand it. Take the clownfish, those vibrant orange and white striped fish made famous by animated movies. Behind their cute appearance lies one of nature's most remarkable gender-bending adaptations. These reef dwellers live in strict hierarchical communities where only the dominant female and male reproduce. But here's the fascinating part, every single clownfish is born male. When the dominant female dies, something extraordinary happens. The largest remaining male undergoes a complete physiological transformation, changing into a fully functional female within days. This isn't just a behavioral shift, it's a total biological reorganization. The male's reproductive organs physically transform into female organs capable of producing eggs instead of sperm. This adaptation, known as sequential hermaphroditism, ensures the clownfish community's survival by maintaining its critical social structure. Whenever a female vacancy appears at the top of the hierarchy, there's always a replacement ready to step up, or rather transform up, to fill the reproductive void. While clownfish change sex to maintain their social order deep in the darkest parts of the ocean, anglerfish have evolved perhaps the most extreme solution to the problem of finding a mate in the vast, empty depths. The challenges of deep-sea reproduction have led to what scientists might call the ultimate parasitic relationship. Male anglerfish, which are dramatically smaller than females, have evolved to become permanent physical attachments to their mates. When a tiny male anglerfish finally locates a female in the darkness, he bites into her body and refuses to let go, literally. His mouth fuses to her flesh, and then something truly bizarre happens. The male's body begins to dissolve. His eyes disappear. His fins deteriorate. Most of his internal organs break down completely. Eventually, he becomes nothing more than a permanently attached sperm-producing appendage, entirely dependent on the female's bloodstream for survival. This extreme fusion establishes a shared circulatory system between the pair. The female provides all nutrition while the male's sole remaining function is reproductive. From the female's perspective, this arrangement ensures she always has sperm available whenever she's ready to reproduce, an invaluable adaptation in the vast ocean where encounters between anglerfish are incredibly rare. From the male's perspective, despite losing his independence and most of his body, he achieves his evolutionary purpose, passing on his genes. The biological transformations we see in clownfish and anglerfish represent two different evolutionary approaches to the same fundamental challenge, ensuring reproductive success in challenging environments. For clownfish, the ability to change sex allows their communities to adapt quickly to the loss of key members. Their transformation is triggered by social cues, specifically the absence of the dominant female, highlighting how environment and social structure can directly influence biology. Other fish species also exhibit sex changes in response to various environmental or social triggers. This flexibility allows marine communities to maintain reproductive capacity despite changing conditions or population fluctuations. These adaptations reveal how fluid sex and gender can be in nature when survival demands it. 
While humans tend to view biological sex as fixed and binary, these examples from the animal kingdom demonstrate that evolutionarily speaking, what matters most is not adhering to strict categories but developing whatever reproductive strategies work best for survival. The boundaries between male and female can be remarkably fluid when environmental pressures select for such flexibility. As we've explored nature's wildest courtship rituals, we've witnessed evolution's boundless creativity. These bizarre behaviors aren't just fascinating oddities. They're evolutionary masterpieces, shaped by millions of years of natural selection. Dr. Caitlin O'Connell observes in Wild Rituals that these behaviors mirror our own human interactions, offering profound insights into connection and community. Yet for every mating ritual we've discovered, countless others remain hidden, waiting to be understood. The field of ethology continues to evolve with new discoveries like the red-cheeked Cordon Bleu songbird's intricate foot-tapping dance recently captured on high-speed video. What other astonishing adaptations exist beyond our current knowledge? Nature's laboratory of love keeps experimenting.